Hey YouTube, Walk One, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna change our wheel bearings for the front. I already did, we're gonna do both wheel bearings, but I already did one side. It's the same thing for the for both sides, and also it's the same thing for a Nissan Altima, a Nissan Rogue, a Sentra. It's basically the same thing for all. Uh, even for Infinity, it's the same thing. So you can follow this. So um, this procedure to change it. And some of the bearings, let me bring it, let me show you the bearing. Also link will be in the description so where you can get tools. So let me show you the, and the whole one. This one, some of the bearings have a cap on the back with a slot where the ABS um, sensor gonna go in through here and read. This is like, a, this is what um read uh, the ABS, this is what the ABS sensor read. So you can see this one is rusty out. And also you can hear, you can hear that versus the new one where you don't, where you don't hear anything when you turn it. Get it out of the bag. You can hear. You're not, you're not hearing anything but this. Hope you can hear that on camera. Take this off so you can see. This is the ABS ring. That's what it should look like. Some bring a little cover, a metal cover, not a plastic cover. Some bring a little metal cover with a slot that goes here. If you try to take it off with that one, you might break it. So I'm going to show you how to take it off without breaking. Even if you have this one, still do it that way. So when you're putting it in, you don't touch our damage the sensor so let's get started so first thing first we need to jack the car up have a jack stand underneath and then we can take off our hub cap or you might can go through the hub cap to get the hub and it's going to be 21 millimeter Is that 21 millimeter so just put your lug nuts somewhere where you can find them when you're ready to use them so just gonna put them out the way and put them somewhere safe all right we'll take the tire off So what we need to take off is this cutter pin right here. I'm gonna hold this to take off this cutter pin. And you can see that there was an impact gun on this bearing and that axle nut. So I don't know if they changed, uh, I don't know what they changed before, but somebody been in there. This is not the correct size cutter pin as well too. But it's it's good nevertheless. Alright, so take that off. Put that one side. The ox nut itself is gonna be 32 millimeters. So I have a 32 millimeter right here. And it's from Tecton fit nicely get that to come off good so this one move yours might seize the other side over there will seize but what you can do is um, put the screw, put the nut on it. 
And the reason why this one moves so easy is because because um somebody been in there already. But you can put the nut flush with this to protect the, the thing, to protect the threading, and then you can knock it, like knock it, so it can go in with a hammer. You can try to use the hood part of the hammer or put a, put a piece of board and knock it. Or you can knock it with a hammer. Since you have it like this, it's not gonna damage the threading. All right, so we're gonna have that out. out. The next thing we're gonna do is remove this right here and that's 14 millimeter and the re you don't have to remove it but you can be t what you're going to be doing is turning the steering wheel back and forth i don't want to go through that drama so i'm just going to remove it 14 millimeter Just put that on it to protect the treading just like that we're gonna get our armor and we're just gonna knock right here this metal piece right here and it should jump all right so you can see when you knock it it's gonna jump get loose so now we can get that out of the way just like that and we're just gonna put this back right here so we don't lose that and now what we can do is go back and forth like this with ease without fighting the next wheel to go back and forth all right, so the next step we're gonna do, you can see that somebody did the brakes on this, but the next step we're gonna do is to um, take off these two. You have one right here at the top and one right here. That's the carrier bolt or caliper bracket bolt, whatever you wanna call it. It should be 18 millimeter. <coughs> So actually it's not 18, it's 19 millimeter. So 19 millimeter. see the calip the rotor already coming off so I guess they did the rotor they did brakes pads and rotor all right so if not you might have to top the rotor if not you might have to top the rotor around here 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 just give it some top and it will break free all right next step what we're gonna do is get the hammer, knock this back like that. We can take the nut off now. All right, so since we got that off, the next thing we're gonna go in the back, and they're gonna be four, it's gonna be four 17 millimeter. You have one right here. One at the top, one over there on the other side, and one over there on the other side. So one right here, one right there. Same thing at the top. 17 milli. And I have it on a swivel socket. it on a 
of a sake. And we spin it down the other side to go around the other side around here to get that Also, this is your ABS sensor. You want to take it out. Some model you don't have to take it out. Some model you have to take it out, but I would suggest take it out. You don't want to not take it out and then your model is the one that you need to take it out on and then you damage your sensor. So take it out. I'm going to go ahead and remove it just so you guys can see how easy it is to remove. So we have we have the 10 millimeter right here. So it's just to take out the 10 millimeter and shake it back and forth and give it a little pull. Not too much, but keep on wiggling it and it will come out just like that. You can see it's a rusty car. All right, so we get that up. What I'm gonna do is just hook it up somewhere out of sight. I'm just gonna put this back in here. So that's how easy it is to remove the um the sensor. Note again, some car you don't you might have to take out the sensor, some car you might not, but it's best to always take out the sensor so you don't break it. Then you're gonna then then now you got a, another problem. So now I got another bolt out. 17 millimeter. I have one more, which I got I think I can get if I have it to this side. take it out it's still stuck in there so you want to get your hammer and knock on this since we're going to change it it doesn't matter be careful not to bend this like i just did in case you bend it in case you bend it like I did just put it on somewhere flat like even this parking stop right here and you just knock it back all right so guys you can just get a screwdriver and just clean in here a little bit where the bearing is gonna get go and this bearing let me check it this bearing is really good but as you can see it's very rusty so it's not far off from um the other side the other side is bad you don't hear it when i go like this but you don't hear nothing so this one is good but i would recommend change both of them at the same time since they've been on the car and at the same time you don't want to change this and then a month or two down the road then that's this one go bad as you can see this one is really really rusty so you don't have long left to be on the car anyway so guys I have this I'm gonna set this back like this or you can put it on the bearing it doesn't matter as long as you have it there you can see that I already knocked this and straightened it back out so that's not a big deal so if down in here you can see spline and if you look in here you can see spline just make sure the, the grooves line up and once it line up it will go in all right so once the grooves line up you can rotate the back part by itself to get it to line in to get it to line up So 
just like that. We want to get the four screw and catch it in the back. So we'll kind of line it up. So I did get one screw to catch. It's time to do the rest. This is how you change your um, your, uh, your front hub on a Nissan and Infinity vehicles. So now it's time to just tighten that up. All right, guys. So that's on and tight. The next step is to put on the rotor or you can put the nut on it doesn't matter which <laughs> doesn't matter which um route you take we're gonna get the rotor and i'm gonna set the brake so you want to make sure your brake hose is not twist bend crank or anything and it's not and it doesn't look like it's straining and your, and your pad seat properly. And then you can go ahead, put it back on, just like that. So, so far guys, what I did, put the caliper back on, 219 millimeter right there. And also, I'm about to put this um, this right here. I'm gonna put back this ABS sensor right here. Put a 10 millimeter. So um, this is the point where you wanna double check your work, make sure everything is all nice and tight. Since you can wiggle the wheel back and forth like this freely. So you wanna make sure the brake is tight these the four um bolts um back here 17 millimeter is tight tighten up your 10 millimeter um bolt for your yeah, 10 millimeter bolt for your, your abs about it I'm gonna straighten the wheel I'm gonna put back this right now also we need to set this put a cutter pin so we gotta put back our cutter pin right there so let's do that so guys we're just gonna take a final look around the vehicle before um, before we put it back together so make sure everything is good so everything seems good so far and now only thing left is to put on our wheel and that's it for this video guys please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel peace out see you next time